It is not the beauty of a building you should look at, it's the construction of the foundation that will stand the test of time. So this is episode four of the starting a Shopify brand from scratch series that I'm doing here on YouTube. Welcome, if this is the first time you're tuning in, you can of course check out all the previous episodes on a playlist that I made on my channel. It'll be linked in the description. But as you can see, we've been making some decent progress. So we're well beyond the $10,000 mark now. And as you can see, our store is picking up some steam and building some momentum. It's looking good, honestly. Our conversion rate is higher. Our returning customer rate is pretty low, but still higher. And even our average order value has gone up. And in this episode, I wanna highlight some of the things that not a lot of people talk about, which is finances, you know, things you're doing to improve the store. It's not the sexiest topics, of course, but nevertheless, they're still extremely important, if not some of the most important things. All right, so this is my girlfriend, Taylor, and I'm gonna ask her a couple questions to get her opinion. So Taylor, what do you think makes a great brand okay i think there's two things in my opinion that are key to making a strong brand so the first thing i would say is just building a strong community by either spreading a certain message or supporting a worthy cause because then your audience is going to want to support that and they're just going to feel really connected to your brand that way and the other key thing i would say is just having great customer service like responding really quickly to messages comments dms whatever because they might have had had a bad experience with another brand so they might be a little skeptical now so just responding really quickly will help them trust you a lot more so that yeah good luck with all of your stores so one of the things that I want to say right away is that as far as the Facebook ad strategy goes we're simplifying everything I'll make a separate video updating you guys on that but so far we've made two videos and they're like the first and the third episode and that's where we talk about sort of the initial setup and you can just follow along with that of course but now we've transitioned into a simpler approach even and most of our sales now are coming from Facebook ads but we can't track everything so I'm assuming a lot of them are also coming from Instagram so as Taylor mentioned we've built a really strong community and I think a lot of our sales are actually starting to trickle in from the efforts that we've put into the community community that's obviously been mainly her and that's why her opinion was extremely relevant so drop a comment thanking Taylor for being a part of the video that was really nice of her so I want to go over some of the improvements that we've made so that you guys can get an idea of how you actually make improvements in your brand to then continue to scale so the month is not even over it's the 20th and it already has been our biggest month yet so we beat our highest month in May and hopefully we reach the 10k mark and then we'll just continue this chart exponentially growing towards the holiday season at least that's the goal that's what i want to do i think this will be a really great case study through the holiday season and one of the reasons why i wanted to take this really seriously so the first thing that we did to improve our website which as you can see really improved the conversion rate was actually get higher quality images so we started this brand by ordering this product off of AliExpress and taking the pictures that we used ourselves. So we didn't use any AliExpress pictures or anything. We just used an iPhone, took pictures that were decent, put them up on the website, tested the idea, and it worked. However, the pictures were iPhone quality and iPhone quality is not ideal. It does work though, but it's not ideal. So what we did is we actually reached out to influencers that we thought would take amazing pictures for us and they did. And in fact, they did it for free. So we just sent them free products and in exchange, they wanted to take pictures for us. And we actually used those pictures on our product pages, which is pretty dope. And it was totally free. So that was a really great move on our part. Nice. But again, I don't think most influencers would be willing to do that. I think they were mainly willing to do that because they just really love the brand. Taylor's been totally killing it when it comes to the branding of the Instagram and just really engaging with the community as if the brand was her. And I think people just are falling in love with the brand and her <laughs> as well. I don't blame them. Either way, it makes people really wanna rep our brand and really wanna just like do things for us. It's kind of crazy, but 
it's amazing at the same time. So higher quality images, that's gonna be the biggest way that you're able to improve your website. Most of the time, you're just probably gonna to have to go on Fiverr to find people to do this for you. You're not gonna be as lucky as we were probably, but you never know. However, Fiverr is a great place to do that. And I'll talk about Fiverr a little bit more later in the video. Now we have three other products on the store and we're launching more. All of the products we've photographed ourselves so that we can make the product imagery congruent. And now we're working on getting higher quality images for all products, not just our main winner, but that's all you really need. As long as the main winner has really nice quality pictures, you should be fine. That's a really great improvement to make. However, that leads me to the next point in the next improvement that we made, site speed optimization, specifically mobile site speed optimization. Now you can find somebody on Fiverr to help you out with this. That's what I did. I literally just found a Fiverr developer and asked them if they could speed up the mobile version of our website. That's kind of the trade off is when you get higher quality images, it will slow down your site speed. So, so you have to find the balance between having really high resolution images and a really fast site. So try to meet in the middle when it comes to those things. And that'll really boost your conversion rate. Of course, our conversion rate's not that great. I mean, it's below 2%, but it's also because we're driving a lot of traffic. So not all of this traffic we've paid for, a lot of it is organic, as I mentioned. So that's definitely been affecting the conversion rate a little bit, but it's still above average, so I'm happy with it. So that's the second thing, is hiring a website speed developer that can help you out. Again, Fiverr is a great option for that. Now, the next thing that we're doing to continuously improve the brand is asking our customers for reviews, and not just our customers. We've actually been asking even the influencers that we send free products to, to actually review the product honestly on our website. Now there's countless apps that you can do this. Looks Reviews is one of them, Judge Me Reviews, all your reviews. There's literally an endless amount. And I would suggest you just go with the one that fits the branding of your store the best. But again, there's many apps that will do this. Vitals is another great app that has a review app integration into it. But yeah, reviews are super essential again. And if you can just like give free products to people in exchange for a review, that's really gonna affect your store positively. Like even if you do it with family and friends, as long as they're not fake reviews, it's gonna work out really well. So collecting reviews is the third thing that, that's really gonna help your brand get trust. And you can also use those reviews for ads like retargeting ads that's a great thing that you can use them for and again I myself as a shopper usually go towards the reviews right away when I'm about to buy something and most people shop that way too so don't neglect your reviews it's honestly so important if you really want to answer customers questions right away and also just show transparency which people really appreciate now the next thing that has allowed this brand to be a really smooth brand is our banking now this is the finance part that i wanted to talk about we've been using a business bank account through brex now if you don't know what brex is it's an online banking solution that is honestly really, really dope. Not only is it dope because of how it looks, it looks amazing, right? But they also give you a credit card that pays itself off and you can actually earn points on that through your ad. So for example, as you can see, we've built up a pretty decent balance through our profits and we still have some money that's gonna come in. So this balance is gonna reach 4K pretty soon. And we actually just got charged on our Facebook ads. But as you can see, if we go to the card, you can see all of the things that we have used the card for like clavio facebook ads for chipotle even company dinners you know how it is sometimes and you can see all the points that we've earned so far so we have 42,000 points earned and what's cool is that you can redeem these points for so many different things now of course there's so many credit cards that you can use for this but i love brex because they it's all in one and it's so seamless. You can literally cash out your points for crypto, cash, gift cards, miles, literally whatever you want. So this is an amazing service. And as you can see, you get 4X points on restaurants. That's why we've been using it. And 1.5X on advertising, Facebook ads, for example. So I strongly recommend that you use Brex for your business. This is really gonna allow you to not only collect points and get additional perks from just spending money that you already would have spent, but it also really helps you be on top of your credit balance. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it is hard as a business owner to pay off your balance consistently, but Brex does it automatically, which I honestly am really grateful for because that way I can always just check the balance on my account, my debit balance, and know that that's accounting for my credit as well. Like I don't have to also worry about my 
my credit card account and you know running these two things at once it's all in one place which is super convenient something really important that i forgot to mention is also that brex allows you to send international wires with no fees so my previous bank used to charge me 45 dollars each time i sent a wire to china now i don't pay that so i'm actually going to be saving a lot of money and i can send wires every single week to refill my balance so that my supplier can then ship out orders timely every single week and the next thing that you're gonna need to do in order to run a smooth brand is actually register your business now we're in the united states we live in arizona right now but i registered my business under texas now there's many reasons why i did that one of them of course is the tax reasons but also because they have great business laws and you can easily get a texas address like a virtual address through this company called Inkfile, and I actually registered my business through Inkfile as well. So you can do everything through Inkfile and get a virtual address in whatever state you want. Now, I am paying $29 a month for that service, but to me, that's totally worth it. Inkfile made it super easy. It is a little pricey, but again, we've reinvested some of the profits that we've earned into this stuff to really build a great foundation which i'm telling you you don't want to scale a business on a really shitty foundation that's how buildings collapse when they get built on top of bad foundations so just make sure that you actually are putting in the work to build a solid foundation it's really going to pay off in the future i've made this mistake in the past and i'm trying to learn from that and now i'm doing things the right way from the beginning now this isn't something you absolutely must do but i gotta say i haven't gotten any sort of payment bans paypal holds or anything because I did this early on so as soon as PayPal asked me for papers I had everything to submit and they gave me no issues so I collect my PayPal money basically every day with no issues and the business runs smoothly now one thing I want to mention is where we have a lot of room for improvement so the first thing is ads we don't really test as many ads as we should so that's definitely something that will help us scale but the other thing is email marketing I have not been putting in any sort of effort towards email marketing. I set up some flows and that's about it. So as you can see on Klaviyo, we've only made $490 through Klaviyo and they only charge us $30 a month. So that's a really good return on investment. However, on my other brand where I work with my friend Jonathan's email marketing agency, we do 25% of our revenue through email, which is unbelievable. That's super profitable. So I think one of the next things that we're going to be doing here pretty soon is probably working with Jonathan to improve our email revenue and just really get our profits to the next level like I would love to have an e-commerce business where we're literally making like 50% profits every day I think that would be amazing and it's definitely not impossible it just takes some work so that's probably one of the things that we're gonna be doing in the next coming months to prepare for Q4 I'm starting to think about Q4 for this store already because again, I'm taking this seriously. I really wanna take this to the next level, especially since my girlfriend Taylor's involved. She's been totally crushing it. I mean, again, she's been really the main reason why this brand has been successful. I just really run the ads and make sure that everything is running smoothly. She does all the community work, so I gotta give a hand to her. But that's basically it for the update. I'll make more updates more frequently. I know you guys wanna see these more consistently, but for some reason, I felt like I didn't have that much to share but then I thought about it and I was like you know what let me just share whatever it is I gotta share it really doesn't matter I mean somebody's gonna get value from this regardless so I hope that was the case if it was drop a like on the video and let me know if you learned anything or let me know if you have any suggestions any tips let me know in the comments I would love to have a conversation and that's it for today I hope that you enjoyed it make sure you check out the links in the description I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll be seeing you in my next video peace Like